Hello there, today I'm going to go over one of the most useful yet most skipped over feature in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's something that I personally kind of neglect to use because I don't really see any need in using it for most of my videos, or it doesn't look as good as I'd like, but for certain scenarios this is very valuable. So throw your clip in your timeline, oh this is a Okay, it's not as short as I thought, it was just zoomed out. Okay, so throw a clip in your timeline can be anything. So once you have your clip thrown in your timeline, go up to the effects library up here, and it should start where it says like toolbar or something. And you can scroll through here and look at the video transitions, or you can click here and that filters it to only video transitions. So now that you've got your video transitions up, you're gonna need a point where you want your transition. So let's just go like that. And then ripple delete. So now we can see. Here's what it'll. Okay, we're gonna need a bigger difference. He was just awful at his videography there. So then you can see it just kind of doesn't do it smoothly whatsoever. It looks fine, but you've got all these things here. And personally, I use cross dissolve most of the time so you can see here it's now slowly panning to the next clip and you can lengthen this to make it take bloody ages like you can see here which it kind of struggles with in real time or you can make it super short and yeah but then for other things you've got like barn door I've never used that one that looks kind of dumb in my mind but you can use it um, for now we're just gonna throw cross dissolve in there and at the beginning of clips you can throw in a cross dissolve sometimes okay there you go and it'll bring in the video smoothly so that's a nice feature thing that I should probably do with most of my videos like this. So I quite like the way that looks. So I bet you this is 4K footage here. That's probably why it's so stuttery. And then of course at the end of videos you can also kind of get it. You can get it at the end and then you can have a pan to blackness. Which is quite nice. Um, yeah. You've, you've got like all of these things like don't even know what half of these do you kind of just got to play around with it okay that's what that does um star i would assume just does something oh <laughs> yeah use that one that, that's, <laughs> that's a brilliant one this is probably one of the things that i would use to make a video look even more professional um just because it's better than having these like hard cuts like you can see here you know compare that compared to oop, come on okay I guess that works it's not gonna look as good but that compared to this there's quite a big difference of course you want to make sure you get it right on the middle there because then in my mind it looks better it doesn't really matter how you do it but yeah that just looks loads better than what it would look like so yeah Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.